I think being a dad has influenced my advocacy and activism because it reminds me of the importance of standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what is right, and not being afraid to to take positions to advocate and advance the cause that you believe in. I remember uh, a few years ago, I was supposed to take my daughter to a protest, and she reminded me as we were passing by because we were running late and we couldn't join. Dad, I thought we were going to protest. And I stopped that car, turned it around, and then we we joined the protest. And it was about uh, this dance school that was going to be moved out of the way to make room for a new firehouse. Well, the firehouse was going to happen anyway, but it was the principle of the thing. I had told her that I was going to keep my word. And so, so I did. Mm-hmm. And so when I think about the impact that it's had on my life, uh, I think about the impact that my dad's activism had on my life. Whenever he saw something that wasn't right, uh, especially advocating for the rights mm-hmm. of African-Americans in this country, he would immediately uh, submit a letter. He would call me on the phone and said, did you see that or did you hear about that? And, you know, he wrote about the Central Park Five. He wrote about uh, when conservative commentators would make these crazy remarks and he would call me and say, and here's my letter. And I think about that, uh, especially uh, a few years ago when we went to see a play and that during that play, uh, I think it's was, it was a classic play, The Christmas Story, and it was put on by uh, our local high school. And in the play where they had, so in the, I don't know if you know the story, The Christmas Story, but there's a restaurant scene and uh, they had uh, white uh, actors in the school play uh, Asian Um, waiters, but also speak in stereotypical ways while they had Asians who were in the cast to do that. That was just a number of uh, issues that were in the play. So my wife and I, uh, we were talking about this and we wanted to make a point that this shouldn't have been, this play shouldn't have been put on and who was responsible for it. But my daughter, who was really upset at the time, and she didn't even go to that school. She was like, dad, there was so many problems with that play. So I asked her, I said, well, why don't you just put something together and we'll sign it on your behalf? And she did. She came up with a three page letter. Why was that important to me? Because I wanted her to be in the habit of speaking up and not being afraid to use her voice uh, when necessary. And I think that for other dads who are looking to be an example, look, I remember a few years ago when I was asked to lead my uh, be an advocate and be the honorary chair for the white ribbon campaign for our uh, community. And I was like, oh my God, that's such an honor. But you know what I did? The first thing I did was I came home and asked my wife and children, was I worthy? And they said, of course you were. And the point I'm making is that in order to be able to advocate and have your children believe in your words and your actions, you have to live the truth and walk the truth. That's what I mean. When I say the truth, I simply mean you have to walk the talk. You can't uh, talk about uh, 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 respecting and loving your partner uh, without actually respecting and loving your partner. The best example that our children can get uh, for um, the best example that they can get about how to uh, be gender equitable in their relationships is the relationship that I have with my partner. If they don't see, if, if, if there's anything that I can do to show them what it looks like is to demonstrate that in front of them. And, it's, and that we have to do the work and we can't, we can't be afraid to stand up in it and also speak out uh, when it's necessary. So those are my tips. I hope that and trust that uh, other dads will see fit to give their best advice. I know that this is important work and I'm gonna do the best I can to live uh, the life that I want my daughters and I want my son to to live. I I tell them, I said, look, the best example for what you should be looking for should be right in front of you. And I believe that uh, if we can do that, we can change this dynamic.